Hello, dear ones, how are you? Today I will present to you all the foods indicated for those who have kidney problems, who need to deflate, or who have. Trend is infections, stones, kidney inflammation. This is because the best medicine you can consume for your treatment is to eat right, change lifestyle habits, and stop eating some types of food that are considered poison. I have prepared today a complete video of food information, including low-cost menus for you, so you can implement it in your diet without spending much. And also without complicating your life, because cooking is no longer easy. Imagine following an amazing menu, right? It would be impossible to meet this health goal. So stay with me and let that like expert subscribe to the channel that today the video is chewed for you. I am Ana Maria, who is Vereen, and you are on Dr. Ana Maria's tips. One thing that few people know is that the kidneys have a direct connection with the heart. Therefore, if a person has a tendency to kidney diseases, he has to take very good care of the heart. This is because you may have heart disease. Calm down, I'm not playing prog, no. I'm just passing on to you the consequences of an organ like the kidneys when they get sick. It turns out that the kidneys are responsible for filtering toxins from our body. That is, it separates toxic compounds to be excreted through pee. And when it's not working, how should I? These toxins stay there circulating in our body through the bloodstream and cause swelling in the body, face, legs. But this swelling, which is the famous DEMA, also occurs because in addition to the toxins that it stops throwing out, it also stops filtering and excreting sodium. So sodium, which is the salt you eat in the body. It increases and then the person becomes more swollen. With this deficiency, the kidneys cannot control blood pressure that does not fall at all, which impairs the functioning of your heart. This explanation is more speaking, roughly speaking, so that you can understand the matter more easily. All kidney-related diseases are potentially dangerous for humans. Therefore, the kidneys are fundamental to our life, and so we cannot mistreat it, right? For starters, you need to start moderating the injection of sodium, potassium, and phosphorus, which there are some foods, but calm down. Don't you get tense? I'll tell you where you can find this so you can stop eating. To control sodium, you need to stop consuming processed foods like palm snacks, chips, these built-in crap like bologna, ham, smoked sausage, bacon, canned foods. For those who follow my channel already know that I always talk about it and already know that they do bad normally. But for those with kidney problems, the situation gets much worse, right? You need to add Evan's salt to your diet, which I have already talked about in my videos, right? And I already have. I'll even leave it in the recommendations for you to watch after this one. Cool. Another thing that's cool for you to change, right? that it's cool to season your food with fresh seasonings, freshly made such as garlic, onion, natural herbs, parsley, a Maggi broth, all those linings in the pot full of salt and preservatives. Is it poison to you now? And this includes a lot of attention to the foods restaurants use in preparing meals. These types of seasoning that are not natural at all, it won't do you any good if you don't consume it at home. Food is what is bad, but when you go out to eat at a restaurant, you are there, it's coming across all these spices full of sodium in your food, right? So there's only one way you go there at the restaurant, ask what seasoning they use, otherwise you'll get sicker than you're already there. Here comes a golden tip. People with kidney problems should not consume foods with potassium and should avoid it. You know what guys? Banana, orange, potato, tomato in excess, You'll see very little of each other. In fact, you should replace apples with zucchini, which are more kidney friendly. Banana is good, orange, all these foods are good, but for those who have kidney complications, they cannot assimilate potassium, otherwise this will further complicate the functioning of the kidneys. Do you understand now? To reduce phosphorus intake, you should avoid dairy products, nuts, and soft drinks. Soda has really cut the list, hasn't it? Instead, you should consume low-fat and mineral dairy in the consumption of phosphorus-rich foods such as egg, oats, quinoa, pork, sardines, beets, and carrots. 
Pay attention, all of these foods, again, are excellent for most people, but for those who are at this point in needing to rehabilitate their kidneys. Don't overeat these foods, okay? It's also recommended to eat whole grains and lean proteins, like chicken or fish, right? This will provide essential nutrients for the proper functioning of your kidneys. Another important issue is to follow the medical recommendations regarding fluid intake for your condition because there are cases where you will need to drink a lot of water for your recovery, for example, from a pyelonephritis. Now, in other cases, such as a kidney failure, the fluid injection should be modest due to the treatments recommended by your doctor, okay? Keep an eye on this issue. Foods rich in omega-3, such as salmon and trout, are great sources of healthy protein and may also help reduce kidney inflammation and prevent heart disease. Now you taste cauliflower, do you like her? Our then wonder. If so, pay attention, she's low in potassium, which is indicated for. For you to use and abuse when preparing that special dish without losing flavor, it takes the place of potatoes, which should be off your list. Watermelon is also super indicated in the control and treatment of the kidneys. It has a high water content and is a great option for those who can consume liquid without problem because it hydrates and improves kidney function. And then it is important not to consume the seeds so as not to raise the other salts. Is another food okay? Very healthy for the kidneys is olive oil. However, I know that it is more expensive, especially now that it is being considered one of the most counterfeited products on the market, right? But as it is medicine, it is worth buying quality olive oil Make use for your treatment not to serve at the family dinner, all right? A teaspoon of olive oil at each meal already does its benefit to reduce kidney inflammation and prevent heart disease. To know which olive oil is indicated, which olive oil is true, it is worth checking the certified olive oil at Anvisa, right? With the quality seal. They are usually the most expensive olive oils you will find, but come what? 600 minias in a traditional olive oil, you will use a spoonful at each meal. It's just for you. It's a medicine, it's the cheapest medicine you'll find. All right? Brown rice is also another source of nutritious food for you. It is a healthy carbohydrate, has a lot of fiber, and also helps to replace white rice, which does not have much benefit. But it also has more potassium, and that's exactly what you can't consume. Then, at this point, replace the white rice. There's brown rice. You can also consume onion in large quantities because it is anti-inflammatory and will help reduce the risk of fluid accumulation, that is, decreases swelling. Did you know that? Strawberries are also other indicated berries. They are rich in vitamin C, E, antioxidants, and have a low potassium content. And they are coming like the large amount of pesticides that I know that's why before consuming, the tip is to wash well with apple cider vinegar or alcohol vinegar. Then you can add a tablespoon of baking soda. A tablespoon is already great in one L of water. You will leave it for 10 minutes. It is good to release the poison. And then you wash it in running water. It is ready to eat without any legal problems. You can make juices and vitamins with strawberries, which is super accepted. Another super interesting food is red pepper. It is an excellent source of vitamin, accepted in low potassium. And it can be used raw or in salads, and also added to cooked dishes. It treats the kidneys because it is anti-inflammatory. You don't even need to say it, right? Generally, people with kidney problems have the habit of consuming that light salt, you know, right? I have already made a video about this, including in the video of herbal salt. Light salt is not indicated for you because although it has less sodium, it has precisely what you cannot consume, which is too much potassium. And potassium will affect your kidneys. Cool, so there's no point in exchanging garlic for garlic, okay? It is to decrease traditional salt and consume other foods. There's no way out. Okay, okay, Jewel, now that you know what you can eat, how about some ideas? Tell me here in the comments. If you have a special recipe for those with kidney problems, Share with us your experience. Oh, let's go to the first recipe until I know how to make it. I made it yesterday, it was delicious. Super easy to do level, brown rice with vegetables. You will need brown rice already cooked. If you don't know how to make it, buy the rice first. Then give a list on the packaging that will be there, all the instructions. Cool, well now, 
When your brown rice is ready, you will need a variety of vegetables, such as zucchini, cauliflower, peppers, broccoli. The variation you choose according to the menu. You will need a chopped onion, a clove of chopped garlic, a spoon of olive oil and spices to taste, salt, pepper you like, okay? To prepare, in a pan you will saute the onion, garlic yewi and olive oil and add the chopped vegetables. Cook until they are tender but with a certain crunch. Mix the cooked brown rice in the vegetables and season with your favorite seasonings. Add a little bit of salt or herb salt that I prefer a small amount, huh guys? It's delicious. And did you like this recipe? Leave that like. Another delicious recipe is bean soup with vegetables. Wow, that's 10. You will need the following. A bean already cooked, it can be carioca, black, it can even be lentils too. You will need varied vegetables in the same way, pumpkin, spinach, red pepper. You choose what you want, but at least a combination of three square chopped onions there, chopped garlic to give a stew, spices to taste, herbs, Pepper fallen. The girl, the puquinho, you choose there and you go in a pan, you will saute the garlic and onion until golden. Cool then you will add the vegetables, chopped and saute for a few minutes. What are you going to do? You will also season your beans in the same way with garlic and onion. Do not forget to add turmeric, as it is very good for health. Cook on low heat the legumes until soft and then mix in the beans that you have already cooked but my tip is that you. Kill the beans, it's good in the blender, and leave the vegetables there whole so you can feel the flavor, right? Of the dish you are consuming, be sure to sprinkle with parsley, chives, and also those tasty herbs at the end that are excellent. Broth. Anyone from San Jose dos Campos knows well that there is only broth, right? And this must be a very traditional dish. Next recipe too, easy level, but it looks like MasterChef without pressure, okay? You will make an omelet of egg whites with vegetables. You will only need four egg whites. You separate the yolk. You will not use, you will use various vegetables such as, for example, spinach, onion, pumpkin. You will need a drizzle of olive oil, spices to taste, also the herbs, the pepper to prepare. You will heat a little your frying pan, okay? And you're gonna beat the egg whites, right? until almost snow, I don't know how far you can go, okay? And then in these egg whites, you put a pinch of salt, a pinch of herbs that you like, okay? And also put the vegetables you chopped and put in the frying pan until golden. Turn and you already have an excellent egg white omelet, which is super chic and easy to make and is excellent for health. You're going to sprinkle oregano, basil. You can serve it with green leafy salads. It's very tasty, okay? This one I think is easy level, disguised as master chef. What do you think next? Recipe is the last cooked whole grain pasta. What are you gonna do? You will need four fresh tomatoes without the legal seeds, chopped onion, garlic, and two tablespoons of olive oil. You will saute the garlic, the onion, right, and chop the tomatoes. To saute, make that special little sauce, right? You will have cooked the noodles in the water when you are ready. It's very simple. You're going to mix the pasta in that fresh tomato sauce that you made. Although the tomato has a little restriction because of the potassium, it will do very well for you if you remove the seed. Okay? Did you like this recipe? So leave your like. It's very easy. Good recipes for you. Don't forget to manera in the legal salt. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, leave that like, subscribe to our channel. The important thing is that you never fail to consult a doctor to monitor your treatment. To those of you who accompanied me here, I leave my enormous thanks and a thought. There is no victory without struggle, hope without belief, and happiness without sadness. Our life is like that, full of opposites. And they are the ones that allow us to recognize when something good has arrived. Therefore, every difficulty, every obstacle and negative. It has its purpose. It is so that we do not miss the opportunity to recognize the great value of the achievement when it arrives. So let's do something different. When something does not happen the way we want it, instead of being nervous and revolted, we will be grateful 
because it will certainly be thanks to this negation that the most beautiful, just and deserved victory will come. It is not to win by any means, half-hearted, kicked or by luck, this victory that will come. It will be, to his great exaltation, recognition of your efforts. It will be to shine, you who like healing through food, treatments through nature. My books, Healing by Food, Perfect Liver and the Best Staff are now available and it's completely free. Just access the link below. In the description of the video, you will fall there on my site. There are available for you to download the content that is best for you. A big kiss to you and until next time.